are back with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the M3D Pro and seeing whether it's going to be worth it as a purchase or not as a pre-order. They have released a lot, uh, a lot of information for this stage, which is always nice. Here we go. Let's jump right in. As you can see, the filament spools look like they're going to be a bit bigger than the micro. Always nice. And it's going to have a heated glass build plate, which that I'm assuming is removable because it looks like the filament's going to go down there if there's no other place to hang the filament. And in the and it's, it has a, a nice and large print volume of 7.2 by 7.2 by 7.8 inches high. And it has a self-leveling heated bill plate. That is a big bonus. <laughs> and you can have 1.75 millimeter filaments. I'm assuming this probably can't do wood fill or ninja flex or anything fancy like that. Uh, and the resolution is 25 microns, which is a quarter of what I currently print at with my flash forge and the Ultimaker printer. In the standalone mode, basically, uh, is you can transfer it to the memory just like the make what fifth gen. Uh, and there's no SD card support that I'm aware of with this printer. And faster printing, I wouldn't count this as particularly faster printing because it's 60 millimeters per second, which is what the mic current micro prints at, and I heard it's pretty slow. Here we go. So, the M3D Pro was designed in response to customer feedback. Always nice. And what I'm thinking, because they have a retail and a standard edition of this printer, I'm thinking that the retail edition is going to fall about $1,000. And the standard edition is going to fall around 800 And once the pricing is released, then I will give you updates on it. Again, I'm Jack3D, and I'll see you next time.